everybody, thanks for checking out the channel. My name is Billy and today we are unboxing the March 2018 Cryptid Crate. I'm way behind on unboxing this. I think I got this box like a week ago, maybe even a week and a half ago. My life has been insane. Um, obviously I went to Lexington Comic Con, I put that video up. Um, things have just been nuts. So, I finally am going to get into this Cryptid Crate. I have not uh, looked at anything because I've been so busy. So let's get into it. Let's discover some of the unknown together. There does not appear to be a shirt this month, but we do have a hat. This is kind of like those uh, those dad hats that people are putting out. That's got like a, just a plain hat with like a little logo on it. I am not too big of a fan of this, so I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it. But it's really just printed on to the hat. It's not like a little patch or emblem or anything that's been sewn on there. So I don't know how well that's going to stay, and it doesn't really feel like super high quality. And then other than that, it's just a hat. And also it's the Velcro. I don't like Velcro hats. It's not bad. It's not that I don't like it. It's, I don't know. I just don't know if it's the, the highest quality of hat. All right. What's this? All right. We have got ourselves a little alien magnet. There we go. A little green alien head. Uh, with a little magnet on the back of it. So that's nice. I think this is like wood, maybe? Is this a piece of wood? I don't know. Can't tell. Uh, but yeah, that's cool. I like that. That's kind of fun. I like little fun things like this. Uh, this is by Dark Garden Arts. There is their information if you are interested uh, in these little alien magnets. Yeah, cool. Alright. DVD. All right, this is called Invasion on Chestnut Ridge, and it looks to be signed. Very cool. Uh, so what I will say is a lot of times on these documentary movies that they put in here, they look just terrible. <laughs> um, but this actually looks like it could be cool because the design on the box is really cool. Like, I'm a really big fan of, like, how it kind of looks like an old 80s, like, VHS or an old 80s book or something. I don't really know. It's got like this binding that's all torn up and I really like that. Yeah, just a lot of strange stuff I guess that's happened in this small town of Chestnut Ridge in southwest Pennsylvania. So yeah, this is this is pretty cool. This actually looks really interesting. So I'm, I'm interested. I'm very, I'm, I'm on board. Alright, next up we have got a book. Case book on the Men in Black. You know, strange stuff, and the, the people that encounter the strange stuff, the, the men in black, I guess. You know, kind of like how the movie is men in black, while well, there's also real, or real men in black. So, yeah, this will be fun to, to look through. This looks like it's real weird. Uh, and then this was in the book. It almost looks like a separate item. It was a little art print here, little thing. And on the back, it's got the copyright uh, Mark Randall, I guess, is the artist there. That is cool. I can't remember exactly what that's supposed to be, what that creature is, but that is pretty cool. It's definitely creepy. Um, looking through a screen door, that's definitely weird. Uh, and then there's a little sticker in here. I was just about to say that's it, but then I see this little sticker. So yeah, you got a little alien head sticker. Uh, and that's it. That's all for the Cryptid Crate. That's everything in the box. Let's go through it. All right, first up we have our signed copy of... All right. First up, we have our signed cup. All right. First up, we have our signed copy of Invasion on Chestnut Ridge. It says this is the ultimate guidebook on Pennsylvania's hidden history. Ooh. Case book on the Men in Black chronicles the strange going on surrounding UFO activity and other bizarre cases. We have a hat with an alien on it. It does say that it is screen printed onto the hat. This is by Bla uh, Wild Black Sheep. Magnet made of gypsum plaster. I'm glad that they put that in there because I had no idea what this was made out of. Uh, Mark Randall's Crypto Original series of art prints. I'm assuming this is Hopkinsville Goblins because it kind of looks like a goblin. I don't know. And it counts the sticker as an item but not like much. It's just like a dollar item but that's cool. Um, this this might go down as my least favorite cryptid crate. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I don't really care too much for the hat. Um, usually the shirts are kind of my big item or one of the things that I like most. And so I'm not really into that. 
And then there's a bunch of smaller items. Um, usually I feel like maybe the smaller items are usually a little bit more. I mean, the sticker and the print are fine, but usually I feel like we're getting like a really nice keychain or really cool like little thing. Uh, what, the uh, Yeti thing that I got, that was really cool. I will say the movie looks awesome. I'm definitely going to watch this movie. Um, and the book will be fun to read. But uh, overall, I, I'm not too into it. And that might also have to do with the fact that I'm not really into aliens. I don't really uh, subscribe to the idea of aliens. I don't really believe in aliens. So that might be part of it. But yeah, that's it for the March 2018 Cryptid Crate. Tell me what you thought in the comments below. Uh, what was your favorite item? What's something else you think would have been cool to put in here? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, be sure to like, share, subscribe if those are things you like to do. And uh, yeah, until next time.